Hello, dancers, and welcome to day 26 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here talking to you about making our frame wider. As ballroom dancers, whether we are leads or whether we are follows, it is wonderful when we have a chance to develop not only a flat and clean frame, but also a wide, and this is what we're talking about, a wide, or they call it a big top. So let's get ourselves to it right away. There is a specific muscle group called the serratus anterior that starts from your rib cage, wraps around your body, and goes underneath your armpit to your shoulder blade, or also known as your scapula. Now that muscle group helps to put the shoulder blade in the perfect neutral position, or we could say flat position inside of your back. Instead of a scrunched winged position, that would look something like this. So ladies and gentlemen, if I now put my back to you guys, and I put my arms in position, if I was activating a different muscle group, the rhomboids, this is what would happen to my back. If you notice, it is getting more narrow and you can see through the crumpling of my t-shirt here that my shoulder blades are getting pulled towards the center of my body line or towards my vertebrae, my, my back. What we want to do is we want to actually get the shoulder blades to sit more flat into the body and dance more outwards to help create width in our back and therefore width in our arms and therefore width in our frame. So we're going to go over one specific exercise, a simple exercise that we can do at home right here while you're watching this video so that we can learn to activate this serratus anterior muscle. Let's call it the modified push-up and we're going to do it in a few different parts. Part number one, we're standing nice and tall, comfortable, nice balance over two feet. We're going to bring our arms out in front of us as if we're doing a push up. But instead of just pushing against the wall right now, what we're going to do is just push air. And we are going to practice now bringing the hands in towards us and then pushing the hands away. And if you notice, I'm not changing the anatomy or the structure of my arms, but I am now changing the anatomy and structure of my shoulder and my back. And therefore, I am changing the orientation of my shoulder blade and the activation of my serratus anterior. We can now change this to make it a little bit more challenging. What you can do is lie on your sofa, lie on the ground, lie wherever you'd like to on the ground. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it lying down. You're going to start with having your shoulders pushed down against the floor and then you're going to bring your shoulders and your arms up towards the ceiling while keeping your back flat on the sofa. Then we're going to come down and we'll come back up and we want to feel like there is movement of the arms but not movement inside of the arms. Whew. Do those uh, 10 to 15 times whether we are doing the first level or the second level. And if we want to go to a third level, we can go into a plank position or a push-up position. And I'll demonstrate that here on the sofa again. I will keep my arms straight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, release my chest down towards the ground. And I'm going to push myself up. I'm going to go down and release. Now here, the action, I'm pushing my body away from my hands and therefore activating my serratus anterior muscles. So once we start to create that activation, we will start to create more awareness of how those shoulder blades can sit more flat into our back and start to dance away. We're not trying to make them tight. One of the, um, one of the issues that uh, ha always happens is that we think about opening up our chest, which we do want to have. We want to have a nice frontal openness, both this direction, this um, dimension as well as in this dimension. We don't want to be closed or concave. But with that openness, what ends up happening for a lot of dancers, we open up and we pinch the shoulder blades in. And that is what we do not want because we want a wide frame. So practice this little exercise. Do it 10 to 15 times. 
Think about the actions. Don't cheat with the arms. And then once you get yourself in a position, feel like you can start to activate the arms laterally outwards. That's it for now. Teacher Joel saying thank you again so very much for tuning in every day to my videos. Please feel free to comment down below. Also, I forget to ask you guys, but hit the, uh, the, the little thumbs up button um, somewhere down over there. It does help for people who are looking for uh, ballroom videos and this helps with the searchability and the validity of the videos that I create and so more dancers can look and stumble upon Teacher Joel's uh, sometimes crazy but hopefully helpful videos. That's it for now. Thank you very much. We shall see you tomorrow. Pata.